Now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe's powder. So far I feel like this is just like banana powder. Okay now that the powder has been sitting I am going to wipe it off. I have no contour on and it's doing really good. As you can see I have a slight yellow cast but I did set heavy. Now I'm going to do the contour and shimmer highlight. So I'll be right back with that. So now that I am highlight and contoured, let's do a flash test to see if the powder can withstand flash. As you can see, it did not do too good. I mean, you can still see the uh, powder and I have highlight here so that seemed to diffuse it. That is just without any setting spray. Now I'm going to spray my face with green marble sealer. Just going to spray my face with this and then I'll take a flash picture to see how it does. Now let's see how the makeup looks with flash now that I've used a setting spray. Okay, so as you can see, not as bad as it was when I just used the powder and not a setting spray. So the setting spray should take down the cakiness. I'm not going to say it completely gets rid of it, but it should help. I feel like this powder is a dead on dupe for the Benai powder. You get 10 grams and with the Benai powder you get 1.5 ounces which is 42 grams. The Benai powder is 15 bucks and the Morphe's uh, banana powder is $8.99 I want to say. If you are on a budget and you do not use as much makeup, this would be the perfect powder for you. If you go through makeup like crazy, you might as well just pay the $15 and get the uh, shaker. I can definitely see myself use, using this. I'm just kind of disappointed that the powder is not as yellow as I want it to be so it doesn't really complement my skin complexion as if the elf high definition powder in corrective yellow this one is the if not the same color as the benign banana powder I feel like this is the closest dupe you are going to get for a cheap price Overall, the powder went on very smoothly. I really like the application of the powder. In person, it sets and it starts to blend in with your skin complexion or the makeup you just applied. If this powder was a little bit more yellow, this would be my go-to powder. This would easily replace my e.l.f. High Definition Corrective Yellow Powder if it was a little more yellow. That is my mini review slash comparison to Benign Powder. I hope I helped you make a decision if you're going to get the Morphe Banana Powder. If you want me to keep doing videos like this, thumbs it up. If I helped you make a decision, let me know in the comments or just give this a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching as always. Bye.